Hi guys, Nick Burke here, the Business Development Manager for New South Wales and ACT at SMA Australia. Today I'll be installing and commissioning a catch control solar relay and showing you how we can integrate with our Sunny Boy range. Let's have a look. So first up we open the catch control box. As you can see it comes with one solar relay and we've gone with the option of one CT. Now we connect the CT into the top side of the relay with the white cable in W1 terminal and black into black. The AC connection is at the bottom of the relay with red into active and black into neutral. It's time for installation into the switchboard. First we make this safe by turning off the main switch. We connect the AC side of our catch control into a 10 amp circuit breaker and mount our catch control unit onto the DIN rail. We run the CT cabling through the board and connect to the main supply, ensuring the directional flow of the CT is correct from grid to load. We now turn back on our main switch and catch control circuit breaker. Lights on and we're ready for configuration through the catch power configurator app on your smartphone. Now we are in the app. First, we ensure we log in to our Catch Monocle account. Confirm our details are correct. Now we go back to the main screen and connect to device. Here we can see our recently installed Catch Relay and we connect to it. We can see the data on this main screen now. So now we can add the Sunny Boy. First, we go to Firmware Update. And we ensure we update the catch relay with the latest firmware. This may take a couple of minutes. Now our firmware is up to date. We go to our device settings and we scroll down to first initiate the Wi-Fi settings for the catch relay. We go change Wi-Fi settings, scroll to the bottom and do a Wi-Fi scan to find our network. Now we enter our Wi-Fi network password and press save. Now our Wi-Fi details have been saved successfully. We can confirm that the server connection is good. We check our Modbus configuration for SMA Sunny Boy. Now that's good, we go to SunSpec Configuration. We go to Manual Add on the bottom left and we add the IP address of our Sunny Boy. Ensure the port is set to 502 and we change the slave ID to 126 and click Save. We have now found our Sunny Boy inverter. Our SunSpec settings we change to True. We now go back to our live data and we can see our signal to our Sunny Boy. Now we go to Site Manager and add our end user's site details. The details here we add is for our end customer. Once these details have been added, we create the site. Here we can see the installer access details and the owner access details. Bottom right, we can now add device. Channel 1, we can change to main supply. 
Channel 2 is not used in this scenario, so we change to other. Control loading is false. Control and inverter is also false. We now click save. Our device has now been added to the site. We can now go to dynamic export on the bottom right if this applies to your region. And just like that, we've now set up the catch relay to monitor our SMA inverter.